question. Hi, in today's tutorial I'm showing you how to take this simple letter J and turn it into these amazing 3D images. And I'm creating them using a few simple prompts inside firefly.adobe.com. But first of all, I'm quickly going to open Adobe Express, which you can get absolutely free and use within your web browser. In a blank page, I'm going to just select my text box and add in some new text, letter J, and then I am going to centre it in the centre of the file and change the font to a really big, large, chunky font. The chunkier the font, the better these prompts work in Firefly. Once I'm happy with the size and position on the page, I'm quickly going to download that file as a PNG and then head over to firefly.adobe.com where you can start to enter the prompt you want to bring up your first image. I'm just going with donut with pink icing and sprinkles isolated on a white background just to get started off. Then once you see what image it generates, I'm going to pick the one I like most and use this as my style reference. You'll then see in the bottom left hand side, it's now added it as a reference image. And now I'm going to upload the letter G as my composition reference image. Make sure to move the toggle all the way up for your strength and then scroll back down and use hyper realistic. I find this gives us much better outputs for the images. I'm then going to edit the prompt so that we can get it a little closer to that letter G image in our original composition file. And this time you can see that it's gave us a bit of a mixed bag of results. There's one really good one here, which I'm going to use and update as their style reference and regenerate again. And this time it's gave us much closer to what we're hoping to get. So I'm just going to quickly download a couple of the ones that I like here. And then I'm going to go back into the prompt and at this time I'm going to ask it to update to be a pale pink letter with dripping paint and splashes with a blue sky background and puffy clouds and see what it generates this time. And as you can see, it's all right, but I'm just going to click generate again and see what results I get. And this time I'm much happier with them, so just downloading these. And this time I've just been playing around with adding candy floss prompts with pale pink puffy clouds just to see what kind of backgrounds that I get this time. And again, you can see there's a bit of a mix. And notice that when you are typing in the prompt box that Firefly really trying to help you with the description. So if you're not sure what to write, then go by their guides um, above because sometimes you can get some really interesting results this way too. The neon prompts I find work really well in this generator too, which I particularly love the pink neon on the background. Now the strawberry one, I always get mixed results for these. I have had really good results and in this one I've had kind of mixed results. As you can see, the G just wasn't mimicking it, looked like a cutout rather than forming the shape of the letter G out of the strawberry, which is what I was wanting. When I started going back into the chocolate chips, this one had much better results, which you see. And even this time, I didn't quite like the background, so I went back in and just changed it to have a cookie dough background as well. So it looked almost like it was cut out of the background, which these ones I much prefer. And again, the coffee I'm still experimenting with and trying to get it to look right, but it's all experimentation with Firefly at this stage. If you enjoyed that short tutorial in Firefly then do keep following because I am just getting into my learning journey with Firefly and learning what prompts to use. It's a super exciting tool to be able to experiment with. I lose hours and hours in there. So doing much more in Adobe Express now and really diving deep into the platform to learn everything you can do in there to aid and create and make your graphics look outstanding. There's such a lovely synergy with the way it works with the other Adobe programs. I can upload straight from Illustrator and Photoshop and InDesign straight into Adobe Express to help with my clients' workflows, templates I create for them. So keep watching and make sure you subscribe so that you can see all my latest tutorials I'll be bringing your way this year.